What's up guys, Alex here back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the quick scan effect in Vegas Pro 11. Now you can use any version of Sony Vegas Pro but if you have Movie Studio Platinum then you can't do this effect because we're going to be using the masking tool which isn't included in Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. So before we actually start on this tutorial uh, in my video example, I slowed the video clip down in After Effects using Twixter and I slowed the video down to about 1% so that the video is playing really really slow. And during this time, we're going to place the effect on the video. So you want to make sure you slow your clip down before you import it into Sony Vegas. So if you want to learn how to slow your clip down with uh, Twixter, then I'll put a link to my Twixter tutorial in the annotation above. Alright, so now what you want to do is create a new video track and you want, ha you want to have your original video clip on the bottom video track. So next what we're going to do is select the video clip and we're going to hold control and we're going to click on the video clip again and drag it upwards onto the new video track. So that way we duplicate an exact copy of the video clip. Now make sure both video clips are directly beneath each other and we're going to go to the part where I start slowing down the clip which is around one second for me it's going to be different for you guys, but for me it's one second. Starting at one second, you want to make a cut. So click on the video clip, on the top video clip only, and press S to make a cut. And the slow motion ends at around three seconds. So I'm just going to make another cut. And we're only going to apply the effect to the top video track. So you want to go ahead and open the event pan crop option and select the masking option. Now you want to make sure you have enable snapping and you want to select your anchor creation tool. So, so make a point anywhere on the screen of your event pan crop window and for this specific point we're going to set the X value of the position to 0 and the Y also to 0 so this point came from around this area to the top corner and we're gonna go ahead and make another point and you wanna make sure that you click it on the opposite vertice and again we're gonna select the Y value set it to 0 and select the X value and since our project video properties are 1280 by 720 I'm just gonna get the width value of 1280 and input that to the X value now for our third point we're gonna go down on the Y axis so I wanna go ahead and make a point and you wanna make sure the X value stays the same as 1280 and for the Y value, I'm going to set it to around 150 or maybe 200. And I'm going to make my fourth point. And again, you want to make sure the X value is set to 0, the same as this first point we made. And the Y value should be at 150 whatever Y value you put for the third point. Now we're going to complete the mask by selecting the first point we made from our previous fourth point. And once you select the mask, what we're going to do is select our normal edit tool, which is this little cursor right here. 
and we're going to click any of the points and we're going to drag it up drag it up so that the boundary of the box is outside of the video now this effect can last from one to two seconds so what we want to do is from the beginning we want to go ahead and scrub through our frames and at about the entire length of this short video clip that's going to be the duration of the effect so just go all the way to the end uh, double click to make a keyframe on the bottom track and we're going to select this box so we're going to select this box and bring it all the way down and you want to make sure you memorize the uh, width and the height of this box. So let's bring it down. I'm going to bring this point down also. And bring the last two points down as well. So you should be able to memorize how big the box is when you're bringing it down alright so as you scrub through your frames you're going to notice nothing has happened yet on the video preview and that's because since this clip is a direct copy and placement of the original video clip uh, they're basically copies of each other so nothing is going to happen so what we're going to do next is apply our effect so go overhead to your video effects and go to light rays and we're going to select any one of these three plugins see in spotlight ambient red spotlight or ambient bright yellow spotlight uh, for the video example I use the ambient red spotlight so I'm just going to apply that to the top short video clip now when I scrub through my frames you're going to notice the effects is showing up so basically this is like a lock on effect so you want to go ahead and go into your event effects and we're just going to scrub through the middle of our effects and we're going to change the strength to a low value so at around 0.15 or 0.2 and for the radius X and Y you want to make sure it's around the size of your target so for me it's 0 0.03 for both radius X and Y and for the light source you want to place it to where your actual target is so just select this and you can move it around and for the blending option if you increase the value the effect is basically going to blend in with your uh, video clip so for the blend you want to make sure that it's between 0 or uh, 0.3 so I'm just going to set it in the middle at 0.2 and now when you preview the effect it should look something like this 
Now, in the video example, you're going to notice that for the scanning effects, right in the middle, this little bar pauses for about a few frames and then goes down. So to do that, all you have to do is go into our event pan crop option and you want to scrub through our frames and right when the bar is showing the target you want to go ahead and create a keyframe. And go forward a few 10 or 20 frames forward make another keyframe and we want to bring all the points up to where the middle of the effect is occurring see so right here you can bring it up a little bit And now when you preview it, it should look something like this. So that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Again, if you want to help me out, please subscribe and watch my uh, daily so that's the end of this tutorial again if this helped you and if you want to help me out please subscribe and share my videos with your friends and watch my videos weekly if you have any problems with any steps of this tutorial you can ask me in the comments below and I'll reply to most of them so I'll see you guys next time